Hey guys, if you've ever been blasting before and you've gotten a blockage in your line or your blast gun, you know how annoying it can be, especially when you're blasting with larger abrasive. But today we're going to kind of go through a little few step process that you can go through to actually try and relieve those blockages and get back to blasting. So specifically in this machine, we're blasting with a crushed glass, which again is a larger abrasive. And as you're blasting behind the blasting gun nozzle, it sometimes packs itself in there in a way to where it doesn't want to allow more abrasive to be able to flow through. So the first thing you can do to try and clear one of these blockages is actually back feed the pump. The way you can do that is we typically turn the machine's air pressure down. That way you're not harming yourself if it does actually come out. And then you're just gonna simply take the gun, take your hand, cap the end of it, make sure it's, make sure it's capped really well, hit the foot pedal, you can actually feel the line initiate like it's gonna start pumping. And you'll actually probably feel your machine start bouncing essentially, because what's happening is as you're back feeding it, you're forcing that back into your agitation system and it's stirring up that slurry in the bottom. And that's what's gonna get you that new slurry. So if you just have a deposit of abrasive or something that's come through at a higher rate than it typically would, this is gonna get you more water and more abrasive up in there and hopefully it will clear it. If that does not work, the second thing you can do is actually remove this white nozzle off the end of your blasting gun. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult if it hasn't been taken off a while. This one has not, there we go. And then, actually you guys can see how it's starting to pack up in there, which a little bit of it is normal, just because the water typically drains back into the machine, but larger abrasive particles don't but then you can, actually, you can actually clear out the line. So you can see it's starting to form. There, it's starting to come back through. There's your blockage clear. So now you guys are getting the flow that you're gonna want when it comes to vapor blasting. Also, rinse this little white cap off before you put it back on because any sort of abrasive that you get in those threads is just going to decrease the amount of life that your cap has. I'm actually gonna rinse this back off because uh, abrasive will get anywhere that you don't want it. You can simply put that back on and make sure that your black nozzle in here, that's that boron carbide, boron carbide tip we're always talking about, make sure it's pushed firmly up into the end of the cap because when it slides back, that can also cause issues. And you can screw this guy back on, make sure this is also secured firmly and turn your air pressure back up. just like that, you guys are ready to start blasting. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any other troubleshooting questions, do not hesitate to call us at 828-202-5563. If you guys have any other questions about these machines or wet blasting in general, please leave it in the comments below and we will answer those for you guys. And if you guys are actually ready to get this equipment in your shop and start getting the results that you need today, again, you can call us at 828-202-5563. We hope to hear from you guys. Have a great day and peace.